<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of A New Dawn. In between the episodes I've managed to buy enterprises in all over Coloradia which is really good and we're making quite a decent amount of money every single week which is absolutely fine but it's the time when the shit hits the fan for the Rodox. Unfortunately they are absolutely crushed by the Highlanders and uh, this is really bad but yeah it is what it is. Uh, I've fought a lot of tournaments and these are the prices, not that one, but yeah, these are our prices. We'll keep the horse down here. I've bought this one, which is actually better, and this one, I thought it's cool, you know. So yeah, let's use that one. And I bought this also uh, from a random vendor, you know, in the tavern. Uh, I thought that, you know, since I'm making quite an insane amount of money every single week, uh, so why not buy expensive horse, you know? How can I reach people? Let's try the sex. And uh, our party, we still have the Kulkar troops and uh, a lot of a lot of Swedian cavalry, as you can see. These guys will be upgraded to knights and from knights to royal knights and from royal knights to twilight knights, which are absolutely badass cavalry. And uh, then we had a couple of infantry, more infantry. And uh, groin infantry are actually really, really good because they are upgraded to groin knights, and from groin knights for uh, to groin generals, and groin generals have really, really decent charger, uh, even better than the twilight knights. But yeah, I've got the surgeon from uh, from a castle. Yeah, but everything is the same. Let's fight these guys because they have two. Jagonets, and it's about time to start recruiting some Jagonets to help us in this uh, venture, you know? Perfection. Uh, okay, uh, concerning the Highlanders, right now the Rodox are at war with the Swedens, the uh, Highlanders of course, and the Sarians, and that's why the Highlanders are overpowering the Rodox and taking a lot of their stuff, which is mm, which is a little bit problematic, to be honest, because you know, before recording this whole series, I joined the Lord of uh, Veluca, you know, while 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 testing before recording, and uh, he was quite powerful. He had like eight or ten jagonets, and this cavalry support makes it very easy for me to level up and. Uh, rank up to the level of the champion without even losing that 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 much battles you know but right now all of the Rodox lords are absolutely crushed and every one of them i think i think the the strongest one of them had around 200 which is miserable to be honest and uh i was actually planning to join them but Right now, I think it's better to just weaken these Highlanders. Well, that's just fucking great! But, yeah. Okay, we haven't lost anyone, and we got the two Jagonets, which I absolutely love. Let's keep them up. They're not that expensive if you look at their weekly wages. They're not high as the Master of the Way, but yeah. And again, pretty cool stuff that I love to see every single time we fold these ninth errands. Uh, yeah, we will keep the good stuff as always in the Enterprise and sell the rest. Oh, more Jagonets in the tavern. Six more Jagonets. Uh, this may be not very smart. Something ain't right, and damn it, it's time that we find out. Because I will be joining a lord, and I'm currently making an army. This is this is literally an army right now. We have quite a decent amount of cavalry, decent amount of Kolker troops, and I don't know what I'm doing with my life here. <laughs> but you know, I, I can't I can't just see jaggedness and not hire them. You know, it's 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 a long story. Groyan Vanguard with a lot of prisoners. Yeah, we'll definitely try to fight these guys. And uh, they look quite decent, you know. Okay, we haven't lost anyone, which is absolutely fine with me. And we got more of these two, ha two 
handlers and some of these which will be upgraded to royal knights which is absolutely good and knights the royal knights uh, then we have some demi lancers and man at arms i think yeah i think we we, we can fire we can hire these guys also we have a lot of space left so yeah we'll take the good stuff and leave the rest uh i don't think i need any one of these let's just take the uh the prisoners and move on with our lives okay what about you my dude do you have golden jared 6k uh, yeah i think oh -ho -ho! that's good that's good do you have anything else like where she can throw axes that might be cool but yeah let's wait a little bit um i'm looking for a decent two-handed weapon uh okay okay and nothing very expensive i usually buy the very expensive stuff from these guys because yeah it's 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 worth it and we got a large bag of golden jerrys, which are actually really decent. We're gonna use them instead of the axes, and yeah, I think we are good to go. Ooh, heavy royal morning star, I like that. Twilight Saber and Twilight Long Sword. These are really good options for one handlers if you are actually fighting with one handed, you know? But for me, I love the Royal Morning Star. I love it. I just love it, man. Ha! Gay! You know my, you know my style of playing. I love any weapon that can crash through blocks. Again, 42k. It's nothing. Every single week we are making this much money. This is crazy. I can't even spend all of that uh, in the vendors. You know, I've been buying a lot of. A lot of good stuff from these vendors and still we are making insane amount of money we have nearly an army right now but yeah that's that's very cool for me highlander skirmisher come here my dudes this might be a large battle but i will prove that the quality of the troops is what really matters against these guys you know because we have a lot of cavalry and cavalry are I think I think it's it's the best answer for these Highlanders, because you know I actually joined the joined a battle against uh, Highlanders with a Rodok Lord, and the fact that the Roddocks are not using any cavalry, making them at a very big disadvantage against these Highlanders, because their highest troops or the kind of decent troops of the uh, are the Highlander sharpshooters and they can deal quite a decent amount of damage to nearly any troop uh, and that's why the answer for these guys will be decent cavalry not decent infantry but yeah as you can see right now we are absolutely cutting through them like like crazy man this is this is just insane and I love it I love having these kind of cavalry cutting through everyone that, like you know this is crazy and I love it. You, you, you're a monster! You, you're like Hitler, but, but even Hitler cared about Germany or, or something. And we haven't lost anyone so far. Because the quality of the troops matter. Yeah. They outnumber us? Eh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <Got he. laughs> I see nothing. I don't know, this, this is also another thing that's crazy about this mod that actually the charging damage is is more guaranteed than the damage from your weapon which is kind of dumb to be honest you know dealing 77 crushing damage or uh, charging damage uh even better than the weapon that can actually deal around 30 or so damage you know it's it's kind of strange about this mod <laughs> This is a foreign warrior, but he's mounted. Why are you mounted? Why are you mounted? And he has a long bow, which is... Mm. Who are you? Who are you? Are you a lord? Psych! Oh, he's a, he's a, a leader. 
but not a load or anything. Oh yeah, they have a couple decent amount of warriors. Yeah, these guys are worth quite a decent amount of experience, as far as I know. Yeah. And we are absolutely dominating this battle. And yeah, we've already done it. Absolutely great stuff. Great stuff without losing anyone. Okay, we haven't lost anyone and we got a couple of prisoners that we can recruit. Uh, captain can be upgraded to, mm, to Admiral, which is okay. You know, we'll take the Guardian also. Uh, I don't know. Legionnaires. Legionnaires are quite decent, but mm, I don't know. We have Centurions, but not Legionnaires. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it like that. We already have a lot of troops. Just in case if we joined a lord, you know. If we enlist in, in an army, I mean. But yeah, we'll take the prisoners and move on with our lives. Okay, my dude. My dude. Shit is about to get real on you. You think you can find me? Hmm. Let's see about that. Let's see about that. That's a lord. And of course he will... He'll have quite this amount of Highlander heroes, you know, these tough guys. But we don't care. We don't care. Because we have this superior quality of troops. Yeah, and we will be cutting through them like no one's business. And you see these, oh, this line of sharpshooters? These guys can deal a heavy amount of damage to nearly any troop. And, uh, yeah, this is the only threat for the Rodox infantry in normal battles. And, uh, normally these kind of troops that will decimate the, 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 the Rodox army like crazy. But right now, as always, you know, we have the cavalries. Let's just hope to save this guy. <laughs> we have the decent amount of cavalry and decent quality of cavalry, which will help us in the long run. But I don't see them. Hey, my cavalry! Help me! Help me! Yeah. We are doing absolutely fine. And, yeah. As with the previous battle, just when our cavalry arrive, there is no way, no way for them to fight back. It's just their doom. Their doom, my dudes! Pardon my French, but you're an asshole! We've already finished this battle, you know. Okay, we haven't lost anyone, and he got away, unfortunately, but yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> and a couple of upgrades, which are always appreciated. Oh, this is our first upgrade for these Skulker troops. Wow, this is crazy, man. Yeah, and decent stuff to sell. We're gonna take as much as we can. Ooh, balanced great lands with banner. This is the best lands you could have in the game, and it's with a balanced modifier, so I absolutely love it, man. Let's sell all of that, and uh, yeah, now we have the best lands. Uh, maybe not the best two-handed weapon, but yeah, we are working on it. And uh, balanced great sword. I think it can be quite fast in sieges, you know, that might be beneficial for us, but it's very expensive though. But we have a lot of money, so... How can rich people? Okay, the... Oh, Dawn Charger! That might be something very expensive that I can buy, and I will buy. We got a heavy one, which is absolutely good. Man, I love it, I love it. It's not very fast, but... It's even better than the plated charger. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But not very fast. <laughs> yeah, are we still making a lot of money, so yeah. Okay, this might be a very heavy weapon, but... Eh, it's very expensive and kind of slow. And that's what eh, makes me wonder if I really want to buy that. Ah, it's very expensive, and we already have the great 
uh, sword, you know? But, you know what? This weapon can actually be very decent in sieges, so... Yeah, I'll get it. We'll try it later, you know? When we actually engage in a siege or something. Stop it. Get some help. Your money or your life. Are you sure about that? I guess I'll choose my life and your life, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, boy. Another party of Highlanders. And by the way, I've been fighting Highlanders for a long time, and they are pretty weakened, but at the same time, the Rodoks are not making any move. Which is kind of strange, man. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do our best. And um, by the way, these guys, I think they are kind of mercenaries or, or something that are hired. Oh, are these Kolka troops? Yeah, these, these are Kolka troops. I love to see these guys. I love to see these guys. I will not probably be able to recruit them or anything, but just, you know, for the experience. I think they are worth a lot, and that's why I'll try to fight them. And by the way, this party of Highlander has uh, a lot of a lot of prisoners, so yeah, we may choose from them later. But right now, let's focus. Spirit Walker for 500 experience. That's absolutely great, man. And what about you? Okay, he's down. Shadow Hunter is down. But yeah, uh. I think we are already dominating this battle, and yeah. Alright, we haven't lost anyone, which is absolutely great, and we can hire... Uh, I don't know if I actually want to hire any of these. Black God... Eh, it's whatever right now. I'm not, I'm not trying to build a siege uh, party, you know, so I'm, I'm just focusing on the heavy infantry. How about new? No? But uh, on the heavy uh, cavalry, I mean. But yeah, these guys are not that great, so we will not take any of that and just take the prisoners to move on with our lives, as always. <laughs> okay, this is about to get messy. Groyan troops. Okay, 133. This might be a little bit problematic, but we will do our best, we'll do our best. Holy cow, man. Okay, it's, it's a really, really, a really, really bad battlefield, you know? Takes place at the gates of Jaleka. This is, this is one of the very bad maps you could fight on, especially for the cavalry. It's pretty good for the infantry, but not for the cavalry, and this is why I'm in kind of disadvantage here. Because, you know, this this bridge... Ah, uh, okay. They have lances, and they will be coming in hot. And they have some jaggernauts. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. This is really interesting for me. But it's kind of strange for us to fight in this battle. I don't know, I'll just leave them charge and see how it will end, you know? It is what it is. My favorite quote. <laughs> the answer to anything. Uh, okay, we have lost five troops. One of them is, uh, is a Kolker troop, which is now very good. Not very good at all, but it's to be expected in this shitty map, to be honest. But yeah, we'll try to make our best in trying not to lose any more in this, uh, you know, in this secondary fight. Okay, we haven't lost anyone, which is absolutely great, and we rescued the Rodox guy, which will be free to go. That guy is also from the Rodox, so he is free to go. And they have a lot of these magnificent and lovely prisoners. We've lost one of these guys, Shadow Hunters. But we have, we can recruit the Sniper. And this Sniper can one-shot most of the high tier troops. And our Blisters, he's also really good. 
Uh, absolutely good stuff. You know, I love this, but at the same time, I don't want to increase my body size that much, you know? Uh, yeah. Actually, this will be the end of this episode, but I'll try to play off screen a little bit and uh, try to, again to weaken the Highlanders so that give the Rodox a chance to follow up and uh, and reclaim their lands, maybe. And maybe I could find that Lord of Luca, or uh, I can't remember his name, but, but he's not currently in the Rodox. Uh, yeah, we'll see how, how we'll go in between the episodes. I'll just try to weaken the Highlanders and see how we'll go after that. And, uh, yeah, we have a couple of, uh, Jagannath armor, which are absolutely great. And, and actually, the couple of these gauntlets are also really good. So, yeah, we'll take as much as we can and we will, uh, keep the good stuff and sell the rest. And yeah, I think that will be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.